2019 was a very unusual year. It was wet, there was delayed planting, and in a lot of cases, farmers were using products at different times of the year than they might normally do so. So today we wanted to talk just a little bit about herbicide carryover and some of the risk we see going into 2020 and what you can do to minimize that risk. Oh man, Brian, you're bringing me down here. I thought 2019 was in the past, but you're saying last year's chemistry could hurt this year's crop. All right, I get it. We did have some of those situations pop up. Here's one that I think was a bad one in soybeans. We had a lot of late planted soybeans, which meant the beans were pretty small all the way into July and August, and we were still having pigweed escapes. Well, we got past the label on extend, and we got really late in the season. Growers were still putting out Reflex and Flexstar. Fomesafen would be the active ingredient. And that's got a big 10 month rotational restriction to corn. Well, if you're putting that out in August, that all of a sudden means you're probably not gonna be able to plant corn until June. So you're probably thinking right now, oh no, that could be a problem. Maybe I'm okay because I got all this extra rain. So what actually breaks down some of these chemistries? That's gotta be part of this discussion. Yeah, so rain absolutely can help a little bit, but that was to some degree offset by the fact that it was cold. When the weather is cold, then the bacteria that will normally break down herbicide are not as active and they don't break the herbicide down as quickly. Fall freeze up or <laughs> winter freeze up as you might refer to it as. I always call it fall freeze up because we're so cold in South Dakota. We are freezing up in the fall and we froze up especially early this year. Temperatures were below normal all through October, so where we might get additional breakdown in that month didn't happen. Okay, so here's the whole point. Yes, uh, there are many things that can break herbicide down, but really I number one look at heat. Number two, I'm going to look at moisture. We were above normal on moisture, but we were below normal on heat. I think that almost offsets. And so now we're looking at how much time is there until we have that rotation that we, we should be going to in the spring. When you're worried about this, when you say, ah, it's kind of questionable, whenever it's questionable, why do we want to take that extra risk? So my advice to you would be, look, if you're bumping up against that 10 months and you're not 100% positive that all the Flexstar or Reflex is gone from last year, just plant soybeans in there again, rather than plant some crop where you think you might have an injury issue. Well, we get questioned all the time about, will this hurt a cover crop? at the end of the season, a cover crop is not nearly as valuable as your primary crop and just a slight amount of carryover that could take 5% of your yield away without you ever even seeing big symptomology on the plants. That's possible, so we don't wanna take those risks. One other product family, Brian, that I'm a little concerned about is the HPPDs. We had corn getting planted in the upper Midwest into early June and all of a sudden, Guys are like, well, what am I going to do here? I'm going to put a pre-emerge out that's a complete pre because that's the only time I would be across the field for weed control. And what did they use? Heavy rates of HPPDs in early to mid-June. That scares me a little bit. We don't have near as much time to get those to break down. Another corn product that we always are worried about is atrazine. Atrazine does leach down through the soil, so more moisture is Better or worse, I don't know how you want to look at that. We hate atrazine in groundwater, but yes, atrazine probably leached out of the profile with all the rainfall we had. The other thing with atrazine, you really want to watch out if you have high pH soils, it carries over more commonly in high pH ground. Couple other products, Authority and Spartan. You may have used those in, we were talking earlier in the show about sunflowers, Spartan there, or Authority in soybeans. Those products have one of the longest half-lives of any herbicide that there is out there, 280 days. So it's going to last into the next year. The question is, are you going to plant a sensitive crop in there or not? And with later planting last year, chances are you're gonna have more Authority or Spartan carrying over into the next year. Now, we don't typically worry about corn or wheat or obviously soybeans, but if you're raising some other crop, be concerned about that. Well, I haven't seen those products carry over so much, Brian, but two that I really do see carry over are Tordon and Milestone. You want to be very cautious if you've sprayed those out on pasture ground and then you broke that ground and you're going to try and raise row crops in there this year. I'd be very concerned. You should be raising a grass crop out there or you're going to have some problems. The other thing that we've seen is with hay. If hay got bailed up and it had Tordon or Milestone sprayed, the cattle eat the hay. You have to watch where those cattle graze next because they could bring that out into your field too. 
All right, Darren wasn't specific about time. I would just tell you our old rule was one ounce of Tordon is one year of carryover. So 10 ounces is 10 years. And I know you're going to say, well, that's crazy. It doesn't carry over that long. Maybe not in your area, but in our area where we're so cold, we really worry about that milestone. Not quite as much, but certainly it's possible for milestone to last three to five years. Tordon absolutely though can last five to maybe even 10 years to so be really careful. Well, I do want to be cautious coming out of 2019 that there could be some herbicide carryover if things got used at different times of the year or possibly some different products than you've worked with before. We do need herbicides though to control our weed of the week. We'll show you which ones work best coming up next.